It is 8 o'clock in the morning. <coughs> Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to that strange time of year between Christmas and New Year where no one's quite sure what's going on. You're not looking forward to Christmas because that's happened. New Year's still just under a week-ish away. No one's really motivated at work. School kids aren't sure what day it is. It's, it's a strange lost part of the year. Christmas has happened, New Year has still to happen, and this is the lost week. The week where no one's motivated, no one can be bothered to do anything, no one wants to start any projects. You know, if you want to start something, you either started it yesterday on Christmas, or you wait another week-ish and start it on New Year. It's that strange hiatus, magical strange week. You'll notice the previous two videos were done on green screen, and I explained in those videos why. Maybe next year I'll vlog Christmas as well, but this year I just wanted to spend Christmas with friends and family and not let this intrude. I understand I said I will give you a snapshot into my life, but one of the things that I hear from bigger YouTubers all the time is how vlogging and YouTubing and any kind of project where you film yourself eventually starts to insidiously intrude into their own lives and become less pleasurable, become kind of this horrible job they have to keep doing. Maybe next year I'll be in a position where I'm okay doing that, but this year I just wanted to spend Christmas with friends and family, and I hope everyone who does watch can respect that I chose to do that. I then went back and retroactively did a green screen video, so there is technically a blog for every day, but those days were just for me. Walking to work now, it's Boxing Day. I was working on Christmas Eve, and I'm working on Boxing Day. Half eight in the morning. I'll be there at half eight. Not sure how busy it's going to be. I don't know who wants to go trampolining at half eight in the morning on Boxing Day. Probably a few people turn up around ten o'clock. But, hey ho, it's time and a half, so that's nice. Final Fantasy X was on sale yesterday on Steam, so I downloaded that. I need to find some motivation to play through Tomb Raider some more. I don't know why, I'm just not feeling it right now. But I will do, by later on, hopefully. And I've got two days off tomorrow, so I can catch up on putting some Christmas presents away and having some goddamn sleep. I've just been so sleep deprived the last few nights. Horrible, cold thing. You know when you fall asleep and you sweat loads and you wake up and you're in a horrible sweat puddle and you're like, oh god, this is not what I wanted at all. Yeah, that kind of sleep. So hopefully I'll feel better and we can get back in to vlogging every day. Right, I'll film later if anything interesting happens. Off to work. There's nobody here in the morning, so Ross gets to choose his own music. I could get used to working with the Star Wars theme going on. Paying his respects. Let's go to work. Worked for roughly two and a half hours. Then they asked for volunteers to head home because the day was so quiet and we were hugely overstaffed. I think they booked extra staff assuming that people wouldn't turn up. Turn that way, the sun's over there so lighting's better. They booked up more staff assuming that people wouldn't turn up and everyone turned up. Uh, people that didn't turn up even got people to cover their shift. So we are hugely overstaffed. Thankfully, I'm not in massive need of the money right now, so I volunteered to head home. It means I can get some more of the vlogs done, play some more games. Final Fantasy X was on sale on Steam, so downloading that, can't wait to replay that. I never finished it, so it's actually played for the first time, I suppose. Do the green screen vlogs for Christmas and stuff, and tidy up all of the Christmas. This hair needs sorting as well. My hair doesn't grow down, it grows out the mushroom. One of the 1960s Beatles. It just grows outwards. It's not great. So yeah, we're going to uh, sort that all out. I don't mind. It's been time and a half, so two and a half hours, about 30 quidish. Seems fine. Two and a half hours. I'm just going to enjoy the walk back. While I'm walking home along the canal path, well, I say canal, it's more of a river. There's a really interesting psychological phenomenon. Now I don't experience this often, but there's a thing called call of the void 
It's a documented psychological thing. And it is, whenever there's a huge open space, like a hole, or a body of water, or you're standing on the edge of a building, and your brain randomly says to you, you could jump off there. You could throw your phone in. You could throw anything you want in and you'd never get it back. You could easily just jump straight in. It's really weird. But a lot of humans experience this, this call of the void. What it normally is, is the brain processing things that it does not want to happen. It's saying, ooh, you could do that, so I best think about it, and then hopefully your reaction will be not to do it. But of course, some people who are in need of help will occasionally think, oh, that sounds like a great idea. But every time I walk past this river, I look, and there's a part of your brain that kicks in thinking, you could jump in there. And thankfully, the rest of my brain goes, nah, bad idea. I'm sure one day I'll be walking along, it'll be really hot, I'll be really tired after work, and I'll be like, you know what, I do need a bath, and just jump straight in. But until then, I remain dry. Call of the Void, look it up, it's a really interesting psychological phenomenon. Productive day, being sent home early from work. It's uh, after two or three days of not filming anything, getting back into the swing of filming everything is actually taking a second or two. Had a bowl of chicken soup and some brie on seeded bread. That's how middle class I am. When I think cheese on toast, I think, no, no, not just regular cheese and regular toast. Has to be French brie. Has to be on seeded brown bread. Because otherwise, it's, it's just too common, darling. It's just too common if it's not that middle class. Uh, there's a Magic the Gathering thing going on down at game night, so I'm going to go there. And when I come back from game night, I'm going to film the two green screen videos, which will probably be, as far as chronological order goes, put up before this video. I've been busy today, but I've not been filming anything, because I've been too busy doing stuff instead of filming it. I've just downloaded Final Fantasy X, that was good fun again. Hard with the keyboard and mouse, but I've got my controllers, and I'll try and do some Tomb Raider. I keep saying that, but I'll try and do it later. Um... Yeah, I need to make sure I do stuff every day to, to this blog actually has something worth watching. Otherwise it'll get dull. Glink, one of my favourite YouTubers, has his own subreddit and someone just posted, Hi Glink, and he responded saying hi. And I always like it when, when minor celebrities actually do take time to talk to people. I really like that. Back in from the Magic the Gathering thing and yeah, it was fun. Not many people turned up. No one that said they were going to turn up turned up. Uh, but a few more people who didn't say they were going to turn up did turn up. So that was nice. I'm going to go to bed because I'm shattered. I need to catch up on Christmas sleep still. I'm owed like three days worth of sleep. That has not yet happened. And then tomorrow... What's going on tomorrow? Something, probably. I'll work it out. Anyway. Night.